I'm a very selfish creature, and for the sake of giving relief to my own feelings, care not how much I may be wounding yours. Ever since I have known of your unexampled kindness to my poor sister, I have wished to thank you, but had no opportunity. I thought only of you. You are too generous to trifle with me. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes are unchanged. But one word from you will silence me on the subject forever. Mr. Darcy, since last April, my sentiments have undergone so material a change as to make me receive your present assurances with gratitude and pleasure. It is Lady Catherine's doing. Her indignation at your perverseness imparted at length to me taught me to hope. Had you been absolutely irrevocably decided against me, you would have acknowledged it to her frankly and opened. You know enough of my frankness to believe me capable of that. After abusing you so abominably to your face, I could have no scruple in abusing you to all your relations. <laughs> what did you say of me that I did not deserve? Your reproof so well applied I shall never forget. Uh, had you behaved in a more gentlemanlike manner... Oh, do not repeat it. You have destroyed the letter. It might justly make you hate me. It shall be burnt at once. Dearest, loveliest Elizabeth, by you I was properly humbled. No, I did not blame you for coming to Pemberley. I felt nothing but surprise. My object, then, was to show you I was not so mean as to resent the past. As to my gravity and thoughtfulness on hearing the news of Lydia, I had already resolved to leave in search of her. So you gave your permission for Bingley to marry Jane? I guessed as much. Confessed interference in his affairs. It was absurd and impertinent of me. He never had the slightest suspicion. The more I saw of them together, the more I was convinced of her real affection. I never doubted his. And your assurance of it, I suppose, carried immediate conviction to him? It did. What set you off in the first place? I cannot fix the hour or the spot or the look of the words which laid the foundation. I was in the middle of it before I knew it had begun. My beauty you had earlier withstood. As for my manners, did you admire my impertinence? You were sick of civility, I dare say, of deference, of officious attention. I aroused and interested you because I was so unlike the rest. I did not want your approbation. There... I have saved you the trouble of accounting for it. And all things considered, I begin to think it perfectly reasonable. To be sure, you know no actual good of me. But nobody thinks of that when they fall in love. will overlook my having disliked him so much. Three daughters married. I shall go distracted. Mr. Darcy, what an uproar there will be. <laughs> but for what do we live but to make sport for our neighbours and laugh at them in our turn? Mrs. Bennet, if any young men come for Kitty or Mary, send them in, for I am quite at leisure. <laughs> 